Bleed outs don't happen very often with our patients on hospice, but when they do happen, they can be pretty disturbing. I wasn't present when our 28-year-old patient who had head and neck cancer with a tumor that eroded his carotid artery bled out, but my understanding was the room looked like a crime scene. So it was pretty devastating for everybody to witness. Most of the time, we know when a person is at risk for a bleed out due to their disease or their tumor placement. And in those cases, then we always try to prepare the family so that it is not going to be really traumatic for everybody. Putting dark sheets on the bed and having plenty of dark towels available can minimize the gore of what it looks like when somebody bleeds out. And then also having medications to give to the person so that they aren't experiencing any of the anxiety or shortness of breath that can come with that bleed out. That's going to be something like Versed, subcutaneous injection, or intranasal. But usually when a person dies from a catastrophic bleed out, it happens so quickly, there's not even time to give the medication. They're usually gone in a matter of minutes.